See, I heard that hip hop was dead out here in Texas. I guess you ain't get the memo. Look, it's Kaya Beat Mom. We bringing that real shit back. Put your cups up and let's have a toast. Here's the good music. We probably have to force them just to distribute it. Mainstream polluted. Change, I refuse it. I know this shit bound to start a movement. This the new Houston. Here's the good music. We probably have to force them just to distribute it. Mainstream polluted. Change, I refuse it. I know this shit bound to start a movement. This the new Houston. I'm contemplating as the sweet burn Everybody singing and dancing I wish the streets turn Arsonist on track I set the spark and let the beat burn Most niggas claiming that they hold and be the least burn This the new Houston better make way This the new Houston better make way Everybody seen reviews Artist Marcus Manchild Project Turbo Life the Mixtape. So, if I had to describe, if I had to describe Marcus Manchild, right? If I was explain, ex introducing him to someone, I would say, if you want a rapper who's versatile, flow wise is agile, nimble, versatile. Lyrically, you can consider an acrobat, clever, and witty. Marcus Manchild is probably, he is, he's, he's, he can be with you from time to time. Marcus Manchild is your, the rapper you want to look into. This mixtape offers none of that. And my, 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 biggest, <laughs> my biggest thing with it is, we haven't heard from him. The last, the last thing I heard from him was the... Song he did with Slim Thug and Player Skills, like in 2000, in 2012. Like an R&B joint? No, 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 no. It was, like, was kind of like an up-tempo type of thing. And then you really hadn't heard anything from him. And to be honest with you, I didn't even hear too many people asking about him around the city. So when you say that you're going to drop something else, just drop something, you have to know that you're going to create a certain type of buzz. Popping Bottles is the song you're Popping Popping Bottles. With him and Slim Thug and Play Skills. Um, you, you have to know you're going to garner <coughs> some type of buzz. You are not. You don't necessarily have to reintroduce yourself, but you might want to reiterate why you're considered one of the, the best rapper in Houston. Coming out with a mixtape that's full of singles, strip club, Music, lazy flows, uninspired, unimaginative, and uncreative lyrics is not the way to do that. At the very least, what you did was you guaranteed that you're going to continue, you're going to keep your core group of fans. For people who probably had heard from you, heard, heard from you, or heard about you, like Bizzle, and I say, hey, check out this new Marks Manchild mixtape. He's going to give it back to me. Uh, I thought you said that he was cold on the mic. Yeah. I don't understand why you do this. Because that's, I mean, that's the type of music you make. The turbo life, the party, the industry club. Okay, we get it. But damn, you can't come up with like three bonus tracks of just saying, just in case y'all thought I'd can't rap or fell off or whatever the case may be, here's some bars to let you know that if I need to get busy, I will get busy. Didn't do that. Also, this is a party track. This is a party mixtape. It's 13 songs. Well, it's 13 songs, but it's 11 of straight party music. Why would you put this out in January? Why wouldn't you put this out closer to spring break, summertime? Unless what you're saying is, this is what we're going to expect from you, no matter what you put out. Man, I, I agree with them to the fullest, but before I go in too deep, man, I, I feel like everything you said was on, on point. But I guess a more simple, simple way to put it was, if somebody, like, for example, when I was in the, when I was out in Cali for my little short bit, just always get into it with these 
with these other cats from other cities talking about shitting on Houston rappers and oh, who y'all got? Who y'all got? Y'all got Mike Jones, Lil Flip. So if I wanted to be like, I got something for your ass, here's a cat who can actually spit, get some of this Marcus Manchild. I, that would have been the approach I would have took. You can't do that with this thing. Based off of space style. This shit right here, I was, this is a fucking drink coaster. This shit is fucking trash. Space Time was amazing. Well, yeah, it was Sp good. Space Time was probably, good. I, I think it's underrated. I think it's one of the one of the best. I would, I would even go to the extent of saying it's a Houston classic album. He got some straight banging from start to fucking finish. He went toe to toe with Zero on the, the track on fire. Hmm. Watched out Kiki, straight him and Zero went toe to toe with bar for bar. I don't think I don't I don't think it's I, I think it's more forgotten than in the, the album. Yeah, Space Time. Yeah, he he took a two year break. But Space Time dropped in two thousand. I don't think it's underrated. I think it's just it's been forgotten. It's been a while. That's what I'm saying. You have to come back and reiterate why you are why you were the, considered the best in Houston. Yeah, yeah you I, did not I, do I, that. I, with I, this. I agree. I feel like. From, like I said, I'm spaced out, toe to toe with anybody, from track to track. He would have went toe to toe. He he did his thing. He had everything you needed. Showing he showed a, a big variety. Uh, he had uh, illusions, no trust, with the singing alternative chick. He had Mary go around with Brian from Day 26. Straight classic album, classic features, banging ass album. And the back door with this bullshit is is, is unacceptable. <laughs> this is disappointing. <laughs> it's unacceptable. Because you expect so much more from Marcus Man. Yeah, so no, how you get ate up by your own CEO on your own track? Boston George killed him on uh, I think That's the just a side track. note, though. That ain't got shit to do with that. shit. The no, project. No, if, if your CEO is considering you the lyricist, he considers himself trash because he's looking at you and Killer County on as the lyricist of the city. But but in the but, out. I'll spit him on his own fucking song. In the greater scheme of things, that's 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 subjective. That's what I'm saying. The, okay. the, well, the, well, the, the, the more concrete idea here is that was a horrific project. Now, I, I I I like Marcus just as much as y'all do, if not more. Like again, again, me and uh, I do I do music as well, and uh, my boy Noon that I do music with, we wanted to get a feature from somebody that we felt was like one of the hardest or you know one of the best people to get that from and we were going to go with him now we didn't wind up doing it but if i would have got something like this for something i paid for i'd have been pissed off because i mean this it, it it shows nothing of what he's capable of nothing, nothing at all it's, it's more of a disappointment issue than anything yeah it's it not really sitting on him or or, or sitting on the project but it's more of a disappointment issue. Yeah, let's, when, let's, I, okay. when I hear Talk of Life, I think If we have it all made it clear, we else. think Marcus goes hard. He is the talented, rapping ass dude. Very talented. One of the best in the city and, and outside of it. But this project in particular is what we're talking about here. So nobody get that. You know, you know why it's so disappointing to me? Because while his core fan base may like it, What about the people who like you for different reasons than this shit? What about the those who, of us who like you because you can actually fucking spit? And I don't even want to hear that, well, the songs that he put out, he did spit on. Hold on. And I don't even mean to break the fourth wall, but don't play with me, don't play with me, don't play with me, I'm don't say that. Some song of no, no, unless it's about some paper. That is the that is the level of lyricism that you're gonna get on this fucking album. You got two songs that are not fucking strip club or single related, and you didn't even go hard on those. I can just, I can see if you at least bark them motherfuckers out. But and that's the problem I have with it too, as far as Marcus Manchild artists. I was gonna definitely have him in my top three. With this, we're looking at maybe top five. Then you have someone like Doe Beasy who's going to put out something who's going to bar you. He's going to punch you the fuck out. And he might, he might, I, I never had Doe Beasy over, over Manchild, but I might just have to. Because I know he's going to come with some, 
nice shit. I, I don't I don't necessarily know how versatile Dope Easy is, but I know at least he's gonna come with some decent lyrics. Man, if he he could have had this if this is a concept mixtape of Turbo Life, Fast Life, Party in the Strip Club, cool. We get it. Because maybe that's what's gonna get you paid. Bonus tracks, man. Bonus tracks. Don't forget the fucking bonus tracks. Oh, this say this has nothing to do with the concept of this album, but I can still spit. Then I would have then I would have gave this a very good grade because you really this is what my, you know what you're gonna get from Man Child. Well, he he got some songs where well, he he spit. It's just the overall song is trash. What did he spit? What whoa, yeah. whoa. what did he spit on? I'm trying to get a man bit for the doubt. As far as man, okay. what did he spit on? I don't know off top. But, but I actually, no, I can't even. When you when you got songs like "Get It How You Live" and you spitting that ASAP Ferg flow, shovel. That's the hey. That's the, oh my. That's the shovel. That's the shovel flow. I don't have too much ammunition. I can I listen, can back him up. And on. I even told you, I let someone hear it and was like, "Yo, listen to listen to this ASAP Ferg, then listen to this number seven. Get it how you live." I'm sitting there listening every time, thinking shovel shovel ranks. I'm thinking well, that's that. That's how ASAP Ferg spit on every song. I'm talking about man child though. Whenever oh, I'm yeah. listening to the song, I'm waiting to hear yeah, Shout yeah, Ranks. Yeah, yeah. And then on top of that, man child has flow, but you sound like Future. We actually sound like Two Chains coming out the gate. And dog. Uh, then you sound like you got the yeah, Future rich, sound. Got the rich homie. You rich definitely homie got the rich homie. Besides these, song. you know, different flows mm -hmm. and Kirko. Redundant flows and shit like that. Some of the some of the lines. I said, what, like, is that a, a high is that six flags or some shit? That that, that shit. Was, I, mean, I, I got that, but worse. I mean, I get it. I'm too, always like, oh no, oh, man, man, better than this. Like the Celtics, I'm all about my green. No but, Rondo, but no Rondo. But what does that mean? Oh, yeah. though? <laughs> but what does that mean though? I chase pussy because all dogs go to heaven. I put that in my fucking notes. No, that wasn't him. That wasn't him. That was that was Mike Fresh. Mike Fresh. I I put in my notes. Mike Fresh, get off the microphone. Like, like that's why that's why you changed pussy because you're gonna go to heaven regardless. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? And, then, and, 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 and for and for a mixtape that is all about the strip club and maybe singles, there are only a handful. No, 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 no. No, Rondo. There's only probably three. That I can see either in the strip club, like appropriately, or on the radio. I don't really want to hear none of this shit on my radio. Maybe in the strip club, drunk, high, but you know what? At three o'clock in the morning, what doesn't sound good? That's cool. I know that's what you want to do, but thirteen songs of it. This was a very hard listen to, and I. And I, I the reason we're so disappointed is because of. He can do more. It ain't like we ain't never he heard of it. He can do more. I mean, it's out of love. It's criticism. Nah, I mean, I don't know if it's out of love. I just know he can do more. I mean, sp spaced out. Shit. Great. Caution never had. That was like, I was like, man, this dude, he killed this song. The Drag Him in the River freestyle. You know, even if it. Red and Yellow. Even, yeah. Even with the stuff that he did with uh, Kamin or uh, the remix. Um, what was that? Uh, hold on, check my notes real quick. But my point being is, even if it doesn't, let's get that with Dope Easy and Camp, the remix. Mm -hmm. Even if it doesn't fit in the concept of the album, which I get, you gotta put something on here that that shows that you can spit, man. Because you know, one trick, one trick ponies, they they fizzle out sooner or later. If you you never ride that whole strip club. I'm gonna put out all kind of singles. You're never gonna ride that to the top and get any. You're gonna get you're gonna get some kind of buzz. But as soon sooner or later you're gonna peak, you're gonna plateau, then you're gonna come back down on the other side of the mountain because it gets old from the same person over and over again. And I'll I'll go this far to say this. Strip club music. I don't think that he's as good. I don't think he does it as well as he probably assumes that he does. I, 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 because Juicy I J know. makes great strip club music. Yeah, I, I've never really this considered to me is, him a strip club rap. They kept shouting out V Live, Dreams. You well, can tell well, him the, the use of the strip club scene has gotten a, a big notoriety over the last year. The years, couple so. times I've met Marcus was in two different strip but, clubs. But what I'm saying is. Like, like he's but, in that bitch. But, wait, but what I'm saying is. 
this is a, I get the feeling that the concept of this is to show life partying in the strip club or just partying in general. I don't think he did it all that well. I mean, it's just, you want to dumb down your music, okay, I can see but that. you didn't you do it that, that well. Though. I can see that. You didn't do it that well? I mean, you got all these different influences from, from what I love, Drake, Future, Rich Homie Kwan, randomly ASAP Ferg. Like, that was that was the one that probably bothered me the most. But, and then when you get on songs, okay, you got two songs that are not strip club driven, like, um, Huh? Oh, like um, bigger picture. When he was saying, you know, my mama told me, that, you know, I, I I thought that that was it was interesting, but he really didn't do anything. Like it wasn't even surface level. Like I thought he was going to be like introspective, but it was your obligatory get these fake niggas from around me. Where's my real friends? Look, we heard this a thousand times from Drake. It was it was it was beating into our ears. Like we don't really need to hear it unless. You're going to be a little more creative with it. But I understand why it's on the album. You, you just didn't execute it well. The reggae song at the end, I thought that he could have he could have did something with that. To me, it was okay by default because I really didn't like anything else. The features on here were just forgettable. But which you, I would I would think that these people are, since these people are subpar rappers, as compared to Manchild, that he would just use that time to fucking shine, but nah, like he was just on par with these people. I'm like, man, why is Marcus? It's like a team, a good team playing down to his competition. He dumbed down the music. And even if you listen to songs like I Keep That, like Marcus Manchild should have easily had the probably the first or second best verse. Well, his, his his content wasn't a whole lot on there, but I mean, but he was spitting on that verse. But you know what you get from Manchild, and I think he did it. I don't think he did. You talking about I keep that? Yeah. I think you you. I what remember, do you think he has the worst verse on there? No, but I think he should. I think Propane definitely had the best verse on there. I think Go Beasy has the second best verse, yeah. but I don't think it should be in that order. I don't, I don't think so. I always consider Man Child a superior rapper to, to um, Go Beasy. I never broke it down like that. I don't, I don't. That's something I got to think about. I'm telling you, when Go Beasy drops this shit, if he, I, all I want to hear is one song where he just goes hard, bar for bar, and then I'm, I'm putting him above Man Child. Like, it's just, it has to be that. Because you can't put this out and be like, I'm the king of Houston. No. Man, who ever called him the king? I've never no, heard this phrase ever. Man, listen. Man Child was the fucking man. Uh, Nobody. Wait, wait. What was the Houston? king statement? Well, the man he, was, the king. he was the leader of, of, the, of the new Houston movement at one time. He, he definitely no, was. No, like, like when he says he was that dude. He was. There was a time when that's all you but heard about. But it was about. warranted. It was warranted. That's why. That's true. It makes me feel like, you know what T.I. used to, on the King of the South song, when he says, these niggas get high and say whatever the fuck they feel like. That's what I feel about this goddamn mixtape. Yeah. Because Man, you get to that phase. A whole goddamn mixtape? Uh, okay, okay. All right, well, look, this is perfect time to bring it in. I thought about this last night. In that Boston George interview, he said that, now, I don't know if he was exaggerating or not, he said that Man Child had like 500 songs recorded, right? Okay. okay, so it clicked in my head. It got me to thinking, all right, well, if they got that many songs, right, just sitting there, mm -hmm. and you can make some money off of them or get promotion out of them or something, yeah. you think maybe they just went through all them songs and said, all right, this is what's popping these days, is songs like this and shit. He's been gone for a minute, so maybe we come back with something that the masses will like more for partying and shit like that. And uh, they just said, all right, well, shit, let's just put out a mixtape. With, with just, <laughs> since, since we have so many, let's pull these out and just get a fucking project out yeah. there. You think that could be the case? Possibly, but you can tell the like, relatively recent fucking song. I mean, Recently, because they're talking about Molly. That, that could be it. Because they're talking about Molly. And 
I don't know. I, it sounds better to me, but he even dropped swag in there one time. I was like, man, Shaw, come on, man. Okay, well, like, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm asking you. Oh, yeah, right, right. The recent sounding songs, most of them, right? Yeah. So do you think he sat down and said, I'm going a, I'm to a put out a mixtape. It's going to be called Turbo Life, and this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Or, or do you think they kind of went back to the vault a, a little, even if it was the vault from four months ago? But, I mean, whatever. Well, like, you I'm think sure it was from four months ago. I'm sure it was, because he put it out in January. I'm yeah, sure that, the songs went back throughout 2015. I think there's two, there's two ways it went. He purposely did this, which makes no fucking sense to me. Or they said, man, we gotta get something out. Let's put out some, you know, the shit that's trending I'm, right I'm, now. I'm, and they I, snatched some songs and put shit out. I'm gonna venture and, and say that he, I'm gonna venture and say that he knew what he was doing with this mixtape. That's, that's what I meant. Because it was a constant yeah. mixtape. I think it could have been a situation where we went back and threw it together. But even if they did that, it doesn't matter because they were recently recorded. So within the last year, maybe year and a half, I feel like he's recording. But why was so, it? Was, it makes it no different. The, the, well, the ending, the ending yeah, I'm not saying he did it as you were. Right. Well, I'm saying, why would you do that, though, if you haven't been you haven't been heard from in so long? Why would you bring out old material? That's why I don't think he did that. Yeah, I, mean, I think he was in the lab. He very well might not. And I just, he, it's and just something that popped in my head last night. Well, like, they had all these songs, and they were just trying to Listen, push a project. Let, let, let me just say this. His core fans are going to love this. He's not, but mm -hmm. I, I, I think, ain't heard nobody I mean, other than us. I, listen, I feel like his core fans are gonna like this. People who like Manchild for what he is. So, so were we not like core? I'm, fans? I was, I'm, no, I'm not a core fan. Yeah, I, because this is what I'm gonna get. This is I, I don't I can't I can't be a fan if I know this. Great example. Drake's album. I know Drake's gonna get his ass on that and croon and dry snitch and do Dang all that no. shit. But I know he's gonna spit balls. I know he's gonna spit dry balls. Snitch. So I know that when I listen to it. Conversation for another day. So <laughs> when I know when I listen to it, I know he's gonna spit some balls so I can appreciate the album. And I have no problem buying it. That's what Man Child should have done. If you wanna make a whole bunch of singles and strip club music, you could have did that. But you should have spit something. Some, I mean, something. something. Okay, okay, I'll give you this. I kind of like the last song on the project. I don't. Other than that, it was, dude, I mean, it was, it was, it was a bad experience. It was hard it was to a bad, listen to. Like, I had to take breaks. Hold on, let me, let me see, let me see. I, I, I had to take breaks. I'm trying to see what I like. I couldn't, I couldn't. I, I tried to force myself to like something about it. And I, I've never been that way, and that shit kind of bothers me a lot. Control was the only song that I made a note and said, I might like this. Control. Because the production was a motherfucking fool. That, 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 that. Hey, this is another thing I want to say about Man Child. I think that he has a very good ear for beats for what he wants to accomplish. Mm -hmm. That whole space style, atmospheric, hazy uh, yeah, that's type of sound. Right. I like that. Right. But bar it. Put some fucking bars in this shit. One, just one song. It, it, it can't. It, it's not that hard. And again, that's why. It's so I never thought in a million. I never man. thought in a million years. I asked him on the phone. I asked Double. I said, Well, well, I mean, what you know, like if you had to put a percentage on it, what percentage of the album did you like? And he said, None. No, like, get the fuck out of here. I mean, there had to be three or four songs that you liked. I wish there was. I, I thought I, I didn't think there'd be any way. I'm listening. I'm going, going, going. I was like, I haven't liked the song yet. This, I can't believe Listen, it. If there were, I couldn't believe it. If there were three songs in there, I was like, oh, they, they're, they're decent to good. This would have got a fucking A plus because I understand what he's doing. I'm giving this mixtape a D. I do agree with you on that. If you gonna make that type of music, you can do that, but still kill that shit. Kill it. Cause people still be a spitter. Like you're a spitter. Spit! Exactly, because it's going to sound good production-wise. It ain't got to be battle rap bars and long rhymes. Strip clubs have Spit. nothing. Strip clubs have nothing to do with you. you. I mean, well, it has everything to do with the production. You know, us people in the strip club, we love the fucking drums, the heavy drums and all that shit. You have a good flow. That's going to carry it too in a strip club or on the radio. But you can at least have bars for when we have to listen to it in the car. I'm telling you, when we're done with this review, this mixtape's coming off my phone. Cab is staying on my phone. I didn't put it on my phone. It was that well, bad. I was I was listening to it like walking around and driving and all that type of stuff. It it's coming off my phone and nothing's staying on it. 
I have to go back and listen to all the other man child stuff. Because that's what's keeping my faith. Exactly. No, I, I listened to Turbo Life once and I almost just fucking threw it out. And they convinced me to keep going. So I immediately went back to Spaced Out <laughs> and put that bitch on rotate, rotate, rotate. But that, I can put that bitch in and ride 24 7, every day, all day, listen to it, never get tired of it. I would say track one of Turbo Life, I was done. Which was done, though. But yeah. I, I feel like Spaced Out is what's going to get him. More fans. Turbo is what's going to keep his core fans. You're not going to grow with Yeah, it. because at the same time, time when you're doing shit that's trending now, that's just it's now. It's trending now. Exactly. So, them 18 year old kids, them 18 year old kids will be on the next shit that's trending that goes out. Spaced exactly. out was timeless. That shit was two, three it's not better. Than, it's not better than propane's over fence, but I give it to you that it's one of the new Houston movement classics. Spaced out, I, it's no debate. But well, make, make, make party tracks like the first one you came out with. Yeah, bitch, get yeah, all man. Yeah. Hey, one shot, two shot, three hey, shot. Hey, 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 that feels, man. Man. Come on. That's hey. the man shot we were looking for. You haven't been here for a while. Man, come on. You have to appeal to all of us. Look man. out, look out. You got diversified and showed himself at first with Get Off of Me, Problems, Red and Yellow. But I mean, he's like, fuck it. He went after ASAP Rocky. You know? The fucking driving to the river. Who's saying then you drop a weed play? Yeah, that's definitely a weed play. And yeah, I don't even smoke weed. Yeah, I would smoke weed just to drop it on them. Mm -hmm. God damn, man. Like, I'm just... It's, it's so... Y'all get it, though? It's disappointing because... It's disappointing because... We like it. Exactly. Because you expect so... He's so... He... Boston Joy said, and I really do agree with this. Like, this dude could be a fucking star. Not a Houston star. A star star. Yes. Uh, he's got every everything. Yes, every he's a, like I said, baseball. Look, the spit, the like I said, baseball. He's a five five two player. Five tools. Anything you want, he got it. You ought to give everybody everything on this though. You have to. To be gone for so long yeah. and come back with this, like you're alienating. I mean, now I'm just like, well, I mean, are you looking forward to the next Manchild project? I'm selling yourself, sure. Because like, where does he go from here? Where does Manchild go from this right here? You made a whole mixtape of none of the strip club music. So I'm expecting the next thing you put out is going to be the same thing. Well, because man. there was no versatility. You didn't reach out to no one else but people who wanted to go to the strip club. Uh, guess what? I hate to tell you this. But there's a lot of other, lot of other people like us, who like you, but not for the strip club music because we think you're fucking talented. I was looking for versatility, man, and, and content. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it when I heard it. I mean, but I had to hear it for myself. What do you put them in per, uh, uh, perspective ranking? Based off this mixtape. Based off the mixtape, he's yeah. he, 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 nowhere. What do you mean? But based off his talent, I mean, obviously, but okay, well, that's okay, an obvious okay, choice. Okay, okay, okay. Well, just potential-wise, like, what do you, uh, as far as what you see him doing and taking everything into consideration, what you have in front of you, what you have in the past, what you think he could do. Okay, so not you, just off this mixtape. Yes, and hurry up. I, I can't even, I mean. There's a, I still give him top ten based off of talent and what I know he can do. Mixtape, the just off the mixtape. Yeah, thank you. Man. That's a better way to be top fifty. But no, top, yeah, not, top nothing. I'm just throwing it Mixtape, great. Incomplete. Damn. Okay. <laughs> D minus. I give it a D. I see him being I don't think he's gonna follow my top three. No, no, he's gonna follow my top three. He might not follow my top five because I feel like there's other projects. They're gonna be better than his. Vice City Reviews, Marcus yeah. Manchild, Turbo Life Mixtape. We're waiting on you to do something else. I gotta see this one. Yes, sir. Catch y'all on the next one. Cabin. Cabin Dog. 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 Cabin Beat, We're Fuck bringing that real shit back. Put your cups up and let's have a toast. Here's the good music. We probably have to force them just to dig.
distribute it. Mainstream polluted, change I refuse it. I know this is bound to start a movement. This the new Houston. Here's the good music. We probably have to force them just to distribute it. Mainstream polluted, change I refuse it. I know this is bound to start a movement. This the new Houston. I'm contemplating as the sweet bird. Everybody singing and dancing.